Okay, today we are going to look into the HTTP proxy section of the web code. Uh, I've already logged in. Okay, so I've already logged in into web code itself. And I'm actually at the HTTP proxy tab. I'll be using the OAP's uh, Zap as to do the interception later on. So I've also launched my Zap and it has already been configured onto the necessary port, which is the 8090 port. Uh, if you forget how to do this, uh, please refer back to the previous script. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of reading to be done here. Uh, there's actually four pages of uh, reading. Okay, I'll leave that up to you. All right. uh, as you are moving into all these tabs, you should be able to see that in your history, uh, you are actually getting a lot of packets in and out. Okay, you are getting a lot of uh, get command, post commands, and so forth, which is your communication between your machines. So are your browsers and the server. So the proxy is actually now working. Let's go into this part 5, which is to actually uh, learn how to use the interception. Now, uh, you can read the top part, but I'll just go straight down to the bottom section, which is the interception and modification of a request. Now, if you read these questions over here, you will notice that uh, actually, they wanted three things. Okay, let me just copy this. Let's see if I can copy this out. Alright, so they actually wanted uh, this string. They want to do an interception, uh, then follow by a change of the method, uh, add a header, or right, this particular header without the quotes, and of course change the value. Alright, so these three things are what we want to achieve together in one single attempt. There is a button down here, which is a submit button. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you key inside here because we are going to change it anyway. So first do the interception. So I'm going to intercept this. Then I'm going to click this button over here, the submit button. And of course the interception has a run. Okay, and if you study this, uh, of course you will see a post because we are doing a post at this current moment. Okay, so you can see the details on the top. You can see the data over here. All right, so this is what we actually do when we do a post. Now back to our question, we need to change the method to get. So this is the method, change it to get. Uh, of course, the header will change. Uh, it also asks us to add a header. Okay, so you want us to add this header over here. Okay, so let me just copy this. Uh, the header goes into the top part. All right, so all these are actually uh, the header. So I can just put the header here. Okay, uh, don't put in the quotes. All right, so remember, look at the the just only the blue color highlighted portion right so i did not put in any quotes at the end or the beginning uh, the last section actually says to change the user value change me to this new value requests are tempered easily so let me just copy this copy okay now i don't see the uh, value in the bottom text box anymore but actually it is up here this part over here is actually at the http section or as part of the parameter so firstly remember uh, there is a plus sign in the middle because that is where they have the location for the space so let me just overwrite this and of course I need to add in the plus sign for the space and right, one more over here so requests are tempered easily then of course you leave the HTTP version by itself and now 
let me move this up okay now to actually send this response i'm now in break mode so if i want to send the response i will click the response over here right so the break uh so this is the risk pick this one okay, submit and well look at the message over here see you have completed this so uh, make use of the the break as well as the next break which is the play button the one that looks like green color one right, to actually play around with the uh, Z proxy uh, actually the Z proxy can do a lot more things but uh, right now we will focus on to only the web code uh, lesson until it is completed then we will play with the uh, Z proxy itself okay so uh, till the next lesson okay